I'm going to show you how to build the brand imagery using photography and the graphic elements. So, first part is to bring in one of our images. So, Apple D uh, brings up the place dialog. Um, now, normally you're greeted by the uh, OS dialog. In this, we want to use the Adobe dialog so we can control between the pieces of software. Um, so we're looking for the image we want and also we want to turn on the show import options. This then allows us to bring in separate layers from out from within the Photoshop file. So the file that J James has already cut out of Daisy, we're going to bring in just a background layer so we can turn off the foreground which has Daisy already cut out on and just OK that. And bring it in. Uh, you can see the, the size of the file is bigger than our page size just because they're like high res images. Um, and all we'll do is, is just rescale it down nice and easy. There we go. Um, now it's important that we've got this on one layer at the moment. So this is on our layer one. Uh, we can just rename that if we want. So we'll just call that background. Um, and then it's good, good practice to get it aligned and positioned exactly in the page, you know exactly where it is now. Okay. So the second stage to this is to copy our image or image box, lock that layer. Now go to the second layer and paste it back in place, the image. A uh, really useful key command for this is Apple uh, Option Shift V. Now that pastes, pastes the image back in exactly the same position as we copied it from, but on the new layer. Now, what we want to do is change that image, or that version of the image, for the other foreground layer. So, go back to your links, yeah, it's highlighted. Just go to relink. And there again is our image. Now we're gonna bring it in again. Uh, make sure it doesn't say uh, relink all in instances because otherwise it will just update it with this new layer. So in this one, Turn the background copy off, and you can see in the preview that there's a transparent background. And we'll bring this in now. So that now means we've got exactly the same file in exactly the same place, but two layers brought in. Now, now, you, now we've got these layers, we can start combining graphic elements with these. So, we can select these elements. Copy them. And using the same process as we just have. Make sure we select the right layer we want them on. And paste in place. Now, Deselect off. There we go. And now you can see how an image sits in front of the graphic elements while the graphic elements still sit in front of the, the photographic image. Um, ideally, we, we want to try and create some more depth. So if we lock the top layer, let's just we could name that foreground. Okay. Uh, and then we can go back without any fear of moving any of the images, uh, select what we need. So we might want to bring some of these elements to the front. Might want to actually just maybe shift them all a little bit. And, you know, it's very easy to do this now with one layer that's locked in place. 
Um, some of these would be good in front. So again, this time cut them, Apple X, and we'll go to another layer that will sit in front of the main image. And we'll call that new elements. Okay, and again using uh, paste in place. There we go. They now sit on another layer in front of that one uh, and are free to be moved as we wish. And if we zoom in, and we'll just make sure everything's on high res preview, and there we go. We can see now how the image, the, the cutout image from Photoshop that James did previous for us, now sits perfectly in front of vector based images or vector based elements. And we're able to combine photographic elements with, photo, with vector elements very easy. Uh, the great thing about this as well is means that if we do want to resize any of these, um, say, there we go. Now, you can see how the stroke width has increased. Um, so we can always because we're working in a vector-based um, program. Just go back, readjust it. The same stroke width as everything else, so we keep that consistency. So it's excellent for being able to combine photographic elements with vector elements and still control those vector elements really easily. And that's how we combine the elements all together to create the brand imagery. Thank <laughs> you.